G'day Vlad here, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing another petard push. This time my opponent is 1011 elo and I'm 991 elo. So we start off and I've already got some inefficiency. This villager here is just standing there for ages. Alright, so we'll take off Fog of War for your benefit. And we'll try to skip mostly to Castle Age unless we see something that needs taking note of. We're on triple fast forward. He's luring his deer, so we already know he's a little bit more skillful than me. I don't have the skills to lure my deer. And let me see. Not a lot to note so far. He's going for his second boar. Finishing off his goat and his sheep onto boar. There we go. I tell him to check out my YouTube channel. He says only if he wins. And then I wish him good luck and tell him to like and subscribe. <laughs> so I guess I've got one more subscriber if he wins. So it's a win-win for me. If I win, I win. If I lose, I get another subscriber and someone to check out my videos. Alright, so he's going up to feudal age already. And he's doing so at 25 pop. So that's 3 pop before me. Speed up a little bit more. So as you can see, I've got no gold miners. That's because poles don't need to mine gold. If you put them on stone early enough, you'll get enough for aging up to feudal and loom. But we'll just speed up. And nothing interesting happens until Castle Age. So there we go. At about halfway to Castle Age, I start sending my views. Let me see. About 16 minutes is when I build my castle. 11 seconds past 16 minutes. A little bit of a scout war. That castle's definitely going up. I killed his scout. He defends with a defensive castle, and from this point we'll slow it down a tiny bit. And a wall. So he probably suspects that there's a chance I might be trying to come in with knights as well. So I guess that was a sensible move, even if it is totally ineffective to stop what I'm trying to send at him. So over here you can see one TC is pumping to stone. And one TC is pumping to wood, and I'm using my market to keep my bills pumping and to keep petards stacking up. So I already have six petards, or as Punix Curse's son calls them, Boom Boys. By the way, this is a shout out to Punic Curse's son. He's five years old and he's already kicking ass on Age of Empires. So I'll dedicate this game to him. I'm sure he'd like this strategy. After all, he was my inspiration. You can tell him that if you're listening to Punic Curse. So my eco is growing at a somewhat steady pace. His eco is somewhat growing at a slightly so slower stage. I think his problem was he was reacting rather than acting. So because I did the action and he does the reaction, he's had to adjust where I haven't had to yet. So he's pumping two veals at a time, I'm pumping two veals and a petard, and he's going after the relics. There we go, so he's getting his third TC up, I've only got two. I'm on 64 pop, he is on 44 pop, so I've got a significant lead in terms of population. To be fair, some of those are petards. But he's pumping from three TCs now, so now I've really got got to get moving soon to stop him catching up population-wise. And how I do that is I send petards from this castle to this castle, then when I've got enough to overkill it, I'll send it at this castle. So it's not so much about efficiency, this strategy. It's all about bastardry and effing things up. So I've probably got enough to take down that castle now. Triple oh, here we go, here we go. I lost a few petards, but that castle's going down. Let's see what this petard does. Can he make it? Can he make it? 
The wheels are blocking him. The wheels are blocking him. Oh no, he's putting up this wall. That slows me down a little bit. So, good move from him. And, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Move, son, move! What are you doing? Move, Peter! Move, Peter Petard! Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, so the Vils are putting up a castle. Whose castle is going to get up faster? He's on mine. So he's got a second defensive castle. And they're both within each other's circle of castle fire range. And... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. He got his up first. I lost a view. Luckily, I only lost one. He lost two, so that's a fairly good trade. And then I'll be looking at shooting his wall, because I want to take out that castle too. He's probably not expecting another petard rush. I've already got six of them again. And I'll be sending him to this castle. Reason being is when I do hit this castle, it can skip one, two, three, four, four tiles of range and take out that castle. So we'll have a quick look at our ecos in this stage of the game. His eco is relatively stunted. It hasn't grown a lot. He's on 58 pop and has had to react to some pretty major setbacks. I've wasted a lot of resources, but that's part of the plan. I've expanded my eco quite well, even though I've got a lot of idols and a lot of inefficiency and what have you. It looks like he's taken all of the relics, so he's winning the relic war. So he's on 61 pop. I'm on 95 pop, so the lead continues despite his TC. And I'm going to take down this castle, or die trying. And the castle's down, his repair people are not fast enough. I don't have enough petards to take down this TC. Should have sent that guy too. But I almost take it down. <laughs> and he's queued villagers, which gives him some more idle time. So I'm on 89 pop. Oh, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Boom, TC's gone. So he's now down to pumping from two TCs just like I am. Except for if you look over here, he's not creating anything. This confusion of being petarded has sort of rattled him a bit, I think, because he's not creating villages. So, let me see. I don't have any idle vills, that's amazing. But my eco is a little bit jumbled at the moment because I'm more focusing on the petard push but luckily his is even more jumbled because he's got to deal with it and he doesn't know when the petards are coming he's finally creating something to counter it archers counter petards really well if you're going full petards <laughs> he finds that strat funny he he was really good and we had a nice chat after the game top bloke oh no he didn't have all the relics but he does now a couple of priests Good holy men. They never want to kill, they only want to heal and convert and bring people to Jesus or Allah or what have you. There we go. So he's got quite a few idols. He's got five idols. He's pop capped. So he's got 62 pop and only 50 places for them to live in. I'm continuing to stack petards. At this stage I know he's going up to Imperial or is close to doing so because he'd want to take out these castles. So I come in with a whole ton of petards. What I really want to do is take out his TC that's researching Imperial Age. Obviously there's no way to tell and at this stage I don't know where his TC is. So I'm heading over towards the the right TC and then I changed directions I could have taken out his Imperial Age TC at about 80% researched and instead I take out his University 
this TC in a house. So that was a really unlucky move. But at least I took out his university and stopped his research of chemistry, which he was in the middle of researching. So <laughs> at least that delays him in taking down these castles and it delays him on going on the, the counter attack. Another petard. Look at him. He goes, I'm a Wakba, but he doesn't actually have the courage and the nerve to do his suicide bombing. He just stands there and he died. He should have gone down in glory. Oh, well. So <laughs> here I'm sending troops in to die against his archers. These suicide bombers have a little bit more nerve. But unfortunately, they don't have the brains and they're dying. So more wastage from me. I've been very wasteful this game. This isn't the best execution. Usually I do this a little bit smoother. But luckily I put on enough pressure to scatter his, his play a little bit. So from this point here, what I was thinking mid-game was I want to expand my eco. I know he's got archers, so I want to push out here. And I want to push out here and spread my eco so it takes a long time to kill with slower units. So I'm halfway up to Imperial Age, so I'm a real long way away. Um, he's on 80 pop, I'm on 124 pops. I've got a huge villager lead. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 TCs. Um, but he's almost to the point where he can take out my castle. Chemistry's researched, he's building some bombard cannons. I'll put it back on triple speed. Otherwise we'll be here all day. Healing him up, and he's bombarding my castles. There's not much I can do to stop that, but luckily all his units are ranged and slow. So he's got hand cannoneers. And Arbalas. I don't know why he went for both, seeing as they do a similar job. And that's take out slow moving units. Um, he must think I'm going for infantry, which is a fair guess, seeing as I've got one, two, three castles. Um, but really, I'm going for scouts. So I saw his archers. I know I'm going to have to get Wing Tassar to counter them. I'm just buying my time so I can spend longer creating eco. As you can see, I'm creating four veals at a time and then the hussars and getting my upgrades as well. Seems he's creating mostly military. Hand cannons, to be precise. My eco is expanded out here. My eco is expanded out there. Even if he does come in here with his slow units, I'll just keep building out here. Um, and he's taken out my castles. So I think the petard push did its job. And now I'm in the adapt stage. So at 171 pop, mostly villagers, to his 110 pop, I'm in a really strong position. But while I was playing, because I get really anxious, I thought he was killing me. That's why I sent him the message, I think you're better than me. So I've expanded all the way out here. And he's built his stables out. He can see I've got stables now. He's creating light cav. I'm creating fully upgraded wing to SAR. I'm getting... What's that tech called? The, product, the one that speeds up production. And I'll be getting sappers too. Because I've got about 5 TCs, I'm probably going to create too many bills. And to remedy that, I get sappers. So they get bonuses against buildings. So he's doing a bit of damage here, nothing to really worry about. One thing people often forget about the poles is their light cav get bonus against archers. So usually he probably would win this fight, but it looks pretty even at the moment. And his units are all gold units, so that's costly, and I do win that fight. Gosh. The poles... Wing to Sar are really OP. Um, fortunately for Red, his Civ does have a bonus against Cavalry. His Spearmen get 
bonuses against cavalry which the rest of the civs don't. So I'm starting to get enough military to hit him. I'm being very wasteful, I'm just attacking his units when I could be going in through the hole I created. So he's responding with barracks, so no doubt he's going for spears. I think at this stage I've already got sappers, I'm researching champions in anticipation of him going spears. Um, his population is still only 75, whereas mine's 200. So from here, even though from my perspective, I felt like up until this point we were even or he might have been winning, really I've, I've won this game already, I just don't realise it, neither does he. But I'm attacking his pop space again. There we go. He's creating spears. Which makes sense because the only military unit I have out is cavalry. I'm already disposing of my extra villages. I've sent him here to attack. They're sappers villages, but also I just need the military pop space. See, that's one villager, and he takes out the wall pretty fast. I mean, he's going to die anyway. I, <laughs> he deletes the wall to build a gate, so... <laughs> guess it doesn't matter. So these villagers are just here to die and do a bit of damage on the way out. I've got a Hussar loose in his base. He's sent his vills to the TCs. And with no resources, that's GG right there. So I've got Vils who are going to attack that gate, got the horses doing their thing. I've got some Vils here attacking buildings, even though they're not doing their job, they're just standing around. And it's over. It's all over, Red Rover. Thank you for watching. Please leave me any tips on how I can make my videos better. I'm not too focused on getting better in terms of gameplay, because this is my relaxed time and this is really my only recreation but in terms of making my youtube channel better or in terms of making the game more entertaining please let me know so we'll just have a quick look at the stats before i say goodbye um, so i win across the board in the overall view and in the military view reasonably even for units killed and lost this is the big difference 44 buildings raised for me, 3 raised for him. Eco, I beat him across the board, reasonably comfortable, except for gold. He got way more gold than me. Uh, technology, he got to feudal age first. I got to castle age by about a minute before him. And he was about 4 minutes faster to imperial. Luckily, he couldn't do the damage he was probably going for in early Imperial. Society, 169 villager high to 76. He completely won the Relic War, 5 Relics to 0. And the timeline is a pretty standard looking timeline. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Also check out Punic Curse and Poop Lord. They're my inspiration that got me into creating YouTube videos and their videos are much better than mine. And have a wonderful evening. See ya!